Continuing with Chapter 11 and Matter, Lesson 2 is called How Do Atoms Combine? Atoms are particles of elements. Atoms combine to form compounds. An atom is the smallest particle of an element that still has the properties of that element. Atoms of one element are different from atoms of other elements. Atoms are too small to be seen even with a microscope. The properties of atoms determine the properties of an element and how the element can combine with other elements. The atom center, or nucleus, as shown in the picture here, usually has both neutrons and protons. A neutron has no electrical charge. A proton has a positive charge. An atom is identified by the number of protons it has. For example, all carbon atoms have six protons. No other kind of atom has six protons. Electrons move around the protons and neutrons. An electron, as shown in the picture here, has a negative charge. Electrons may join or leave atoms or be shared between atoms. Again, the nucleus is the center of the atom. It contains the neutrons and protons. The neutrons have no electrical charge and the protons have a positive charge. Electrons may join or leave atoms and may be shared between atoms and have a negative charge. The periodic table. Elements are organized in a table called the periodic table of elements. The elements are arranged in each row according to the number of protons. Larger atoms are on the right side of each row. The columns of the tables are arranged so that the elements in each column have similar chemical properties. Therefore, you can predict the properties of an element if you know its column. For example, in the last column on the right, you will find elements known as noble gases. They do not often combine with other elements. Every element has a symbol of one, two, or three letters. Only the first letter of the symbol is capitalized. Molecules. Atoms may combine with other atoms to form molecules. A molecule is the smallest particle of a substance made of, a combined, made of combined atoms that has the properties of that substance. In some molecules, atoms share electrons. Some electrons no longer go around just one atom. They go around two or more atoms. These atoms are then bonded together in the molecule. Many substances are found in nature as molecules, not as single atoms. Air is a mixture of several kinds of molecules. It has oxygen molecules, nitrogen molecules, and molecules of other gases. Most oxygen molecules in, in air have at least two oxygen atoms. Nitrogen molecules also have two atoms that are bonded together. Most of the air in the atmosphere is nitrogen gas. A compound is a type of matter made of a combination of elements. Atoms of the elements are combined into molecules. Most things that you see around you are compounds. Every molecule of a compound has the same combination of elements. Take water, for example. Every water molecule has the same three atoms. This is another example of a compound when you mix carbon with hydrogen gas and oxygen gas you get sugar. Here, here is the chemical formula of table sugar C6H12O6. Properties of compounds are different from the properties of the elements that make them up. Water, for example, is a liquid. At room temperature, glucose is a kind of sugar with the formula C6H12O6. Here shown is a glucose molecule. You can see how many or how many elements are in this molecule by looking at the different colors. We have one, two, three, four, five, six carbon molecules which are black. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 white molecules or atoms of hydrogen and again six red molecules which represent the oxygen atoms. Salts are compounds. They are particles held together by opposite charges. They are made of one metal element and one non-metal element. So sodium chloride or NaCl is a metal and a non-metal and they combine to make table salt. They form crystals. Here is table salt crystals or NaCl magnified 79 times so you can see the details. Please fill in your notes page as best you can. We will go over it in class.